guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video I haven't done in a long, long time. It's kind of like a get ready with me slash first impressions video. Basically what happened was me and my husband were out running errands and he was like, hey, do you want to go walk around Walmart and look at makeup? Of course, this is why I married him. Um, I'm just kidding guys. Anyway, we decided to go to Walmart and we were looking around and then I did end up at the makeup section and unfortunately CoverGirl had decided to restock the shelves with all of their new products. So I did end up finding the CoverGirl True Blend uh, Matte Foundation. I believe this is new and then I found a bunch of these new palettes from them. So I found this like highlighting palette which is a palette I have on my face today, the highlighter. Um, this Peach Punch which I believe is their version of the Too Faced Peach Palette. This is like a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. So that's the palette I mo mostly have on my eyes today. And then I used a little bit from this one, which is called the Chocoholic. I also have this one, which is called Dazed. I just couldn't say no to these beautiful rainbow shades. And so I'm excited to try that one next. And then I also picked up this face palette. And this is in Bloom Babe. And it's actually the blush I have on is this peach one and I really really like the blush. The bronzer is too light and then I was not really in the mood for a pinky blush so I just used the blush shade, the corally shade. And these are so cute, they're all the same size and I believe these are all new to the CoverGirl line. So I went ahead and created this makeup look for you guys. So I'm going to stop blabbering now and let's get into me testing out these palettes. So like I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to try and use all drugstore products, um, no guarantees though, um, but this is the Essence Primer and I swear I saw somebody talking about this in a video and I was like, oh, I, I think I was placing an Ulta order and I was like, well, I might as well try it. So here we go. I've tried it before, but I can't remember if I had any specific thoughts on it. So we're gonna, you know, do it again. <laughs> so it's not very opaque. I've been using the white ColourPop actually as a, the white ColourPop concealer as, as an eyelid primer. I was talking to my friend Pauline and I was like, how do you get your colorful eyeshadow to look so opaque on your lid? And she said, um, I believe she said, her trick is to not set her primer. So I'm not gonna set it, I'm just gonna leave it. And the reason I decided to film this Get Ready With Me is because I was at Walmart with my husband and I found like a, a whole bunch of new CoverGirl stuff. So um, yeah, I was like, I might as well film. He picked this color out. I feel like it's gonna be a little too dark, but this is the new CoverGirl Matte True Blend Foundation. And it says it's com um, it's Comfort Matte Transfer Resistant 1 Fluid Ounce. And I got the shade Caramel. So there is that. And it was, how much was this foundation? $8.42, I believe. And then they have a whole bunch of new palettes. Um, these look new to me, at least. This one looks like a dupe for the uh, Modern Renaissance. This one is scented. It's called Peach Punch. So it looks like it's a dupe for the Peach Palette. Two face palettes. I actually had more of colors, but I just picked out one of each. So this is the True Blend Sculpt Palette in Bloom Babe. I was really attracted to this peach blush. And this is the Super Stunner Palette in Glowing Up. So there's some highlighters. And then I just could not pick um, between all of these palettes. So this one is Chocoholic, which I believe is going to be chocolate scented. And then this is a colorful palette called uh, turn true naked dazed fun super fun so of course you know me I have zero um, self-control I have salt on my face because I'm drinking a margarita which palette should I use I'm kind of com like tempted to go in with this one but I feel like I want to try this which is the sunset Palette. I like how small these are because that's kind of nice because they're, you know, easy to travel with, as everyone likes to say. I really want to get better about carrying makeup in my purse. So it would be nice to have a small palette like this because then you can just transport it easily. 
I'm trying not to break my nails. I'm trying to grow my nails out. And they're still putting these in palettes, so that's interesting. Um, let me grab a brush. So I got the Morphe M412. I'm just going to go in with this. Actually, I'm probably just going to go in with this color. Um, it's like a dark brown color. It's like a typical color that I would put in my crease. Let's see how pigmented these are. This brush, I just use this for highlighting my brow bone all the time, so I'm going to dip into the matte, like, bone color. As you guys can see, I'm not very precise when I do stuff sometimes, when it comes to my eyes. This is blending pretty well. I want to put some shimmer in, so I'm going to go with the next shade, and just hit it right there. Like, right where my brow kind of curves in and I'm going to go back in with this brown shade and just blend a little bit more. Okay now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like another reddish brown shade. Kind of hit the outer corner. My eye looks are very simple, you guys. I don't usually do a whole lot of crazy stuff. I'm going to dip into the... Do I have anything else that's darker? I think we'll have to go into this one called um, Chocoholic. So this is what this one looks like. Okay, there we go. There is tape everywhere on these. Oh yeah, this is very chocolate smelling. So I just want to shade to deepen up the outer portion, so I'll probably go in to this dark brown. There's pigment, oh, there's pigment, pigment from the other palette still on this brush, but that's okay. I don't need to use two brushes. So it's just darkening it up a little bit. Uh-oh. like to give it a little drama, you know? And those are blending pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to say go run out and buy this by any means, but it's not bad. And then, just to be basic, I'm going to put the champagne shade, of course, on my lids. Let's use one of these applicators, see if they're any good. The shimmer shades are the ones I always worry about being like opaque, you know, is I like to foil my shadows, so not a whole lot of pigmentation, but I'm also using the sponge. But for like drugstore, I don't feel like it's like terrible, you know, like not the worst eyeshadow I've ever seen. Once we jazz it up, once we, we can try and, you know, see if we can foil it. So I'm just going to grab this Morphe M, sorry, R42, spraying some uh, Milani Make It Dewy spray. I'm just going to go back and see if I can foil it a little bit better. Oh, wow. I know there's a lot of people that already like these CoverGirl palettes. Like the, don't they have a line called like the nudes? I think that you might like this if you like that line. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I think this is good enough. There is quite a bit of fallout from the gold shade on my, um, for, uh, on my forehead, um, below my eyes. Mm. 
My husband makes the best margaritas, guys. I can't help it. Let's try out the foundation. Here it is. And then I'm going to use this Sodia Kashuk sponge. So I heard um, Tara Baby's talking about this one. She really liked this. This is the one I own. This comes in a set of two for ten bucks. This one, I believe, was six or seven um, or eight dollars from Target. So she said she really liked the shape, and so I got really curious and bought it. I definitely think there's a bit of a learning curve on this one. Now, I don't know if this is going to work better with a brush or a sponge, but we're going to try it out and see. And I like that it comes with a pump. Um, that's super nice, and I'm just going to use my little palette. Um, oh, and it locks shut too, so that's cool. So let's just start with a couple of pumps. Looks nice and thick. I hope this color is right. My husband picked it out for me. Definitely smells kind of like paint. <laughs> um, you know, kind of like those thick matte foundations, kind of um, like Huda. Yeah, I think I would say it smells like the Huda foundation. I think it's an okay color match. I did spend a lot of time outside this weekend, so I might have gotten a little bit tan too. I like it. I think it's got some really good coverage and that was like, I didn't have to use a lot of it. So we'll have to just see how it does wear. I think the color is okay. I'm going to conceal. I honestly love my CoverGirl No Filter Concealer. So I'm just going to use that. Did you guys see they're going to do a foundation? Are you guys excited for that? I watched Kathleen Lights' video and at first I was really like suspecting that she was going to just say she liked it for the sake of like keeping ColourPop happy because it looks like they're going to collab again. Uh, but she actually gave the foundation like a B minus I think. Which I don't know about you guys but B minus from her is that's pretty bad, I would think. I mean, considering like she's a huge ColourPop supporter, you know? So I actually might skip it because um, I have enough foundations right now. I feel like I shouldn't really even be buying foundations, but you guys know I can't like, I don't know, sometimes I get really excited about trying stuff out. So here's the cool part about this blender is that it has a pointy tip so you can like turn it and it fits perfectly in your under eye. Uh, but I can't stop using the hourglass because it's so like finely milled and I love the packaging. Okay, let's see. Girl needs some brows. I always use the same thing for my brows. ABH um, brow powder. Some people love like get ready with me videos and like tutorials and stuff. I feel like tutorials are definitely not my strong suit when it comes to YouTube. Actually, I don't really know what my strong suit is when it comes to YouTube. I just really enjoy making YouTube videos and talking to people about makeup so I don't really ever film tutorials and get ready with me I feel like they're so long like mine I t like tend to be so long and I hate like cutting them down and editing because I feel like then you miss steps and the people are like wait how did they get to that <laughs> and so I don't know let me know you guys thoughts like do, should I make more videos like this I'd be curious to hear okay so I'm gonna use Pat McGrath Permagel, Ultra Guide, Eye Pencil in Black Coffee. I kind of want to do a wing. 
But I'm going to just use the little bit of glitter on this wand applicator just to do, and then I'm going to use the skinny side because there's a skinny side to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm just going to use this crease shade I used. Not that handy. Oh. I know some people like blend them to perfection and I feel like I haven't quite graduated to that level yet. So let's wing it. What do you think? I don't know if I'm going to get this part on camera, but I like to use my a felt pen. This is the new felt pen from Pat McGrath. Okay, I fucked it up, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> this one's like weird now, but whatever. Good enough. Let's try some of the face stuff. So here is the face palette called True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette 500, which is Bloom Babe. I don't know if this bronzer is gonna work on me, to be very honest. Here's my MAC 140 S brush. I use this for bronzer. No, I feel like I'm just putting powder on my face. Okay, let's see. Oh, I've been really liking my Becca Ipanema Sun. I always have liked this bronzer, so let's try that. So it looks like this foundation is definitely like hella matte. So if you want more dewiness, you could definitely put wear like an illuminating primer or you could, uh, you know, highlight. That's an option always. And for blush, let's try this brush because I've had it sitting here. This is a Morphe M5. Five one. Oh, this has like a little bit of shimmer in it. I like that. And then let's try the highlighter from the highlighting palette, um, just because. And this is five ten. I really like the blush. Okay, so we have three shades here. Let me swatch them because I'm curious. So there are the three swatches. They feel very powdery. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna use this guy. This is my Sigma brush from the Angelica Nyquist collection or Nyquist or Nyquist powdery. Um, she came up with a Sigma collab and she got to pick out some brushes from their permanent line and they packaged it with her face on it, which was really cool. We were all, I think all of YouTube and all of her followers were so excited for her. So I bought my first set of Sigma brushes because of her. Okay, I don't love the highlight. I like it on my cheeks. I don't like the color. The first color is too light. So now it looks like I have like porcelain on my nose. I'm not a fan of that, but I like it on my cheeks. So that's good. I'm going to spray my face. So I actually have the sample I got from Sephora for the Kush Mascara by uh, Milk Makeup. And I actually, I think it's a pretty good mascara. I don't really like to pay full price for high-end mascaras, so I wouldn't say I'd buy it full price, but the sample's nice, and it doesn't transfer, which I'm really bummed because I bought two tubes of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara because I remember really liking the sample of that mascara. And uh, turns out, Full size transfers on my brow bone. So at the end of the day, I have 
like these huge black lines on my brow bone and I'm not not a fan of that very upsetting stuff and what I want to do is finish getting ready and then I'm going to come back and then we are going to pick out a lip shade so the liquid lipstick I chose is this one by Colored Rain, and this is the shade Latte. I wear these shades all the time on my Instagram stories, and you guys always ask me what I'm wearing, and if it is a Colored Rain one, it's usually a shade like this, a nice neutral, and yeah, again, this is Latte, and I think it's so great for people with my skin tone. Okay guys, so I never actually do check-ins in my videos, but since it was the first time I had tried on this foundation and some of the eyeshadow, I thought I would film a check-in. So it's actually, let's see here, 11.26 p.m. on Sunday night when I'm filming this check-in. So I've had this makeup on from about 6 o'clock, um, so it's been a couple of hours, and I just wanted to show you what I thought of this makeup and how it lasted. Um, the colored rain lippy. I mean, I had like Indian food and So I think you can still see the pigmentation, which is great. I'm of course missing some foundation on my nose area I'm actually really impressed with how the eyeshadow lasted Usually I feel like drugstore eyeshadow, you know, it fades off. Of course. I don't feel like there's any highlight I can see a little bit of the blush that I put on um, Yeah so overall, I think not horrible. I'm actually really impressed with the eyeshadow palette. I really, really am. I'm actually genuinely surprised because this is under $10. So I'm excited to try out the other palettes. This one, I really like the blush shade, but I feel like the bronzer is definitely too light. And I feel like the highlighter is going to be too shimmery. And I have so many highlighters in my collection. And I did use this highlighter on my face. And I feel like it's all gone. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of shimmer from the blush. Um, but that's about it. But um, so far, I've tried one of the eyeshadow palettes. And then I used a little bit of the dark brown on this one. And that was really good. So I'm going to have to keep testing these out. And um, come back to you with a review maybe. If you guys are interested, definitely let me know. Now we're going to cue back into my outro. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you want me to do more videos like this where I test out new makeup or just get ready with me videos. Personally, like I said in the demo, I, I don't feel like tutorials and demos are really my strong suit. It's, you know, I'm okay at makeup, but I don't think like I'm like the best out there. But if you want like simple makeup looks like this, I'd be more than happy to recreate these looks for you. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can catch up on my other videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.